Hey y'all, this is John Jackson, and uh, I'm here at the park. Um, we'll see how the Lord moves today. Somebody is going to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ today. In Jesus' name, seeds will be planted today. In Jesus' name. So yeah, let's see how the Lord works. Let's do it. All right. So, and your name? I'm sorry. My name is Anessa. Anessa. Okay, Anessa. So, my question is to you: Why is the why is the world so evil? Why why do we have killings? Why do you see um, kids being you know adopted and raped and all this violence? Why why do you think that is? What's the main issue? Well, um, I think I don't know. I just think it's like a choice. Um, I really think it's like a choice. Uh, some people just choose, choose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't know. know. Like I have it in my mind. I just yeah. don't know how to put, put it, it in together. Words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a wide world is yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I think, I think, it's, I, think it's, oh, my I think it's several answers to that question. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think depending on the the way your upbringing was, or depending on your path of life, will determine exactly how your life turns exactly. out. No one plans to be a drug dealer, a uh -huh. rapist, or a murderer. I think a lot of it has to do with your upbringing. Sometimes you come from a broken home. Everyone does not make, like she said, does everyone does not make that choice to turn that into something better. Some people uh -huh. are traumatized; they can't forgive yeah, whatever. It could be was, mental health. It can be, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Someone uh -huh. doesn't grow up. You know, a lot of people aren't born with a, a mental issue. Sometimes. That just happens over time, depending on something traumatic has happened. But I mean, it's, it, I mean, I don't think it's any like explanation of why the world is so evil. I think it's just a, a traumatic experience for some, and it's some people weren't given the the silver spoon of you know of royalty or a lot of money. Some people grew up in a lot of Section Eight housing or struggling uh -huh. to just trying to figure out what they was going to do next. So I mean, it's I guess it's just all an opportunity. Yeah, there's so many but, things that play into that. It could yeah. be just like it's like envy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, for sure. Okay. Greed. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so many things. Right. Yeah. And that goes under sins. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> yeah. a... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, you prove. Hey, you prove my point. So, um, let me ask you um, a, a question. Do you feel like you're a good person? Uh, are you asking as as individuals? Yeah. Or are you asking like overall? Well, individ individual. Individual. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> Uh, I can answer for her. I do no. <laughs> I, can for her. I can say what I mean. I, uh, I think she's a great person, okay. but I think as a human, we all make mistakes. Yeah. I don't think decisions mm. or choices or mistakes make you a bad person. I think that's based on us. Like I'm, I feel as though I'm a good person mm -hmm. based on who I am and what I do. Yeah. Yes. Now right. my actions Personal. to others mm -hmm. may not come off as that, but it's mm -hmm. the best that I can do. Yeah. It's who I and am that's and what I can okay. give. Right, and that's definitely based off others' experience of you too. You may have had a bad experience with someone, but that doesn't necessarily mean again that you're a bad that person that just could have been a bad experience for that individual or for yourself and a lot of times again it's a choice sometimes you could put yourself in the situation mm -hmm. and it may not fall in your graces but okay so my next question is how do you define good what is good mm -hmm. what is the definition of good anybody know not, i mean is there a definition of good i mean yep. i guess there's it depends I mean, on your angle that you're spinning it because good can be service to others, service to yourself. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, knowing your community, well, mm -hmm. not knowing your community, but you know, being good within your community, being helpful, respectful. Um, those to me are things that are that make someone good or the for me to because it's yeah, yeah. of a person. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the the definition of good from the dictionary. Okay. It's morally excellent. Now, can you ask me this question? Are you morally excellent? Excellent meaning perfect. No, no, oh, yeah. no. no. Good. So, my thing is, why I ask you why you're a good person is because we can see that somebody crank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, just like the Bible says, the Bible says no man is good, mm -hmm. only God. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just want to see, ask you a question. Have you ever told a lie? You can all answer at the yes, same time. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the show. Yeah. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes. yes. Okay. Why would you use God's name in vain? Um. I think right now it's just like ignorance. 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 Meaning, like, in a way of not 
in true definition of not knowing. Okay. Not being familiar with it. Really. Okay. Yeah. Would you ever use your mom or your dad or any person that you love name like as a cuss word and discuss to express disgust in something? I mean, I've never done it. Okay. Can't say I'll never do it. Okay. Yeah. I've never had the intention. Uh -huh. I mean, but again, every individual is different. Some individuals have done that. Right. But does that make them a bad person? No. Why, why wouldn't you have done it? Be I mean, at least for me, I've I've never had experience to. Okay. Me, I mean, like most mm -hmm. mom and daughters or sons and fathers, a disagreement is going to happen, but I've right. never been pushed to a limit where I've had to use their name in any kind of, in, in vain of any way. But gotcha. again, everyone, everyone is different. Some right. relationships just, just clash and it's, right. it just flows out. Well, I wouldn't do it because I, I honor my parents. Mm -hmm. I love them. You know, I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to disrespect them in any way, but we, by nature, Disrespect God, who, the one who created everything that we see right here, Absolutely. all the atoms. Mm -hmm. But we decide to use his name as a cuss word, mm -hmm. you know, out of disgust. Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing right now is breaking the Ten Commandments down for you guys mm -hmm. to show you that the Bible says the law, the Ten Commandments is called the law. It's written on our hearts. So when we, um, you know, break God's law, this is, this is what's happening. This is why the world is the way it is. Sin, all sin is, is rebelling against God's law. Mm -hmm. Another commandment is adultery. Have you ever committed adultery? Like, Are you like, considering adultery being not single? So, Because according to the book, if you're not married, you're single. So with the, with the Bible, Jesus said that if you commit adultery, if you lust in your heart mm -hmm. after somebody, like if I lusted after a woman mm -hmm. and wanted, you know, my mom wanted to sleep with her, that's adultery. You already committed adultery in your heart. Mm -hmm. God is perfect. God is good. He's excellent. So even a little small lie offends him, you know, mm -hmm. and it destroys his creation, you know. So like if you told a huge, if you told a, even a white lie, that could get somebody killed mm -hmm. if you look at it like that. Mm -hmm. the so lie this is why, somebody you know, gets hurt. yeah, somebody um, gets hurt now. Right, exactly. So. You can see the cause and effect of sin in the world. And that's what the Bible is, is saying, you know? So what the Bible um, is saying is that we all must be born again, you know? And I don't know if you know what born again, do you know what born again means? So what that means is we repent of our sins, tell, tell God that we're sorry, mm -hmm. you for know? Ask for forgiveness, but it takes that 180 turn. You know, and that's when you see the fruit of actually being saved mm -hmm. and following Jesus Christ. Because he was, um, you know, the expression of the invisible God that we can't see. You know, me and you are spirit. That's why we see our loved ones pass away, you know. But I appreciate your honesty and your time. And, um, you know, uh, have y'all ever considered... You know, have y'all have y'all been saved before? Mm -hmm. yes. You know, y'all read your Bibles and stuff. Yes, not like I should. Not like not you like should. I should. I've not been. Like I, should. I think I've been saved a few times. Not like I should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my brother is. Hey. Yeah, I, I grew up in a big Christian family. household. Yeah. yeah. My family is Christian. So. Yeah. I mean, hey, I, I'm I backslid too, y'all. So I'm not no, perfect. For sure. Yeah. Grace or something. Right. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know that it's time to get serious with God. Cause you don't know what when your last day is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I had friends in high school that passed away, you know, didn't even make it to 18, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, you know, um, no, nah, but I appreciate your time. And um, Thank you. yeah, so w today y'all gonna get right with God. Y'all gonna tell him like, Lord, I'm gonna follow you because I know time is short. Time is not on my side, mm -hmm. you know? And his will is for us to go and preach the gospel to all creatures mm -hmm. because this world will pass away. Mm -hmm. And we can see um, the Bible in Revelations that we are in the last days. If you can't see it, it's because Satan, God says Satan is the God of this world and he has blinded everybody. Mm -hmm. And the Lord woke me up like two years ago. Like, like if you look downtown, like the Bible is true, y'all. The Washington Monument and everything downtown DC is all what the Bible says is called ancient uh, mystery Babylon. 
like the gods of old that the Bible is talking about, they still worship today. And this COVID stuff is it's, it's a part of the new world order that they're trying to make. And this is what the Bible prophesied, that in the last days, you know, Satan will come and give you the mark of the beast and stuff like that. And um, like, if you, if you do your research and everything, like it's, it's true. <laughs> everything is happening before our eyes at this very moment. And God said he's gonna separate the sheep from the goat. Meaning that if you're not about him, if you're not truly genuine about his will, he's gonna separate you. And you will not in inherit the kingdom of God. And that's, you get joy, peace, love, all that of God separated forever if we don't get serious. So this is an urgent message for me to you today. So I just pray that you take it in and, and meditate on that because sin destroys, sin kills. I was addicted to pornography. Pornography destroyed me inside, took me away from God. I wanted that more than God. That's a, some, a, something I struggle with and alcohol, but God delivered me from alcohol. When you drink alcohol, drunkenness, it takes you away. That's why if you go to the rich areas, they call it spirits. You know, there's a spiritual aspect behind it. It takes you away. So just want to give you all that truth and, you know, just like I said, meditate on it and seek God. And if you have any questions, feel free to e e email me. That's my card right there. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, y'all.